Hello everybody, welcome back to another GoTech tutorial. Today's tutorial I'm going to teach you how you can add a UI wardrobe to your GoTech fan game. Uh, some of this might be a little bit confusing for some people. So if you join my Discord server, go to roles, get for scripts role. Scroll all the way down until you see UI wardrobe. There will be a Unity package there for you just to have, which have pretty much everything set up. I'm just going to show you how to do like head for example in this video. So everything will be set up and you just repeat what I'm saying in this video. To set like body, face, and all that kind of stuff. So first things first, create an empty. Put the sand of the wardrobe that you wanted to actually stand on. I'm just going to use this uh, cube. Then you want to right click, go to UI, go to panel, go back to the canvas, change the render mode to world space. Then you can name this panel like home, for example, and you want to pretty much just line up with that I'll do that right now so as you can see I have it all lined up and this is where you can customize it I'm just going to change the color and just make it not as much transparent then you want to right click go to UI go to button and this is just going to be the buttons to get to like head and stuff just set it down put it here change the text to Say like head and just size it up. Then you want to duplicate it, make another button, name it like body, and then duplicate them, drag it down, just drag it over home, go to this, and name it base, and then name it like holdable or something. Now you've got that ready, click on home, duplicate it, name it head page, and just disable home. Then you only need one of the buttons for now. And then you just want to do this. Just get the size of the button that you want. And then name is the name of the cosmetic. In fact, before we do that, create a parent. Empty parent and just name it like cosmetic name. I'm just gonna do a top hat. Then you're just in this top hat placeholder. Then put the name of the cosmetic, drag it down. So this name of the cosmetic will be top hat. Then this just say like you don't have this or just something on the lines of that. Just to tell the player they don't have it. Then just duplicate it. Just name it top art. Disable the placeholder. Then where it says you don't have this, you can put put on. Like that. Then duplicate it and just put it to this. And then make this say put off. Like that. Then you can just disable the top art this. Now what you want to do is right click on panel, go to create empty, name it medics, and then duplicate it, drag it underneath, name it the cosmetic that you want it to be. So for example, top hat, click add component, get the better UI cosmetics from my discord server, or you can use the uh, UI cosmetics, you can use these. Then obviously you want to put it to head and then the name of the cosmetic, which will be just top hat. Then just name this. Oh. Then what you want to do is you can duplicate these and just do these. For example, I'll just quickly set these up. I'll be back when I'm done. So as you can see, I've all set up here and yeah, it's all set up. Now what you want to do is go to the, uh, top hat and you want to add three you want to add it's like top hat button then you want to add the top hat this and you want to add the top hat thing that i made and make sure this is disabled the top hat cosmetic then just give these a function so obviously you want this to enable obviously you want this to disable and then this to enable then you want to right click where it says on click Click copy. 
can go to paste. Then you want it to enable that and disable that. And that's pretty much how you do it. And pretty much you'll just repeat it. So you'll just duplicate it. If you want another cosmetic, you'll duplicate it, drag it along, change like the name. I don't know what you, what you want to do. Let's just do white top hat. Then you'll change this to like white. That's not how you spell white. Like white, and then you'll change this to white top hat, and then you'll change this to white top hat. Then you'll just duplicate this. Name it white top hat. Then obviously change the, the cosmetic name to like white top hat or the cosmetic name. Then you'll pretty much just go to the top hat and change top hat to uh, white top hat. Give it a function, make it enable, then make it uh, disable that. And yeah, and what you want to do is you want to make on the white top hat, you want to actually add another one and you want to make it disable all the other cosmetics. So you want to make it disable white top hat, then go to the top hat. And you want to make it disable the white top hat cosmetic. So you want to make it disable. And yeah, they are pretty much done. Obviously, you might have to change like the name of these. Like white top hat. Um, like that. Change, keep that. Then obviously you'll change that one white and then just size it down obviously it's gonna have to be the same I'll just look different so we can actually just uh, copy these components and then put it into here now there's a the same then you just want to disable all these top hat buttons and make sure the placeholder is enabled so disable this make sure the placeholder is enabled and you, you'll do the same for the body, face, holdables. Like I said, the Unity package will be all set up for you. They'll have a few buttons that you can mess around with. Um, so yeah, so you pretty much just repeat what I've just done. But instead of doing it for head, you do it for body and so on. Now what you just want to do is get a button, which I'll just quickly get a button that you want it to like use. Which is just the canvas. I'll put it here, and then you want it to add the purchase uh, script. Not that one. That one. It will also be in my server. Then you want to go to the top hat thing. Put the placeholder and placeholder, and then put the top hat enable button in there. Put a name in, set the price to whatever you want, and put the platform login. And that's pretty much all you'll do. You just have to repeat it for all the other ones. Like I said, the Unity package will have it all set up for you. I'll try and make it easy to understand. Uh, so yeah. And that's pretty much all you do. And then you can just duplicate like these and just change the name of that. And I will just show you that it works. But before I do, you want to go back to the home button. And you want to go to all of them. And you'll add five. So add five. That's four. We need one more. Then you'll just drag head page. And then obviously it'll all set up for you with body and stuff. And then just drag home page. And then just give them all a function. Obviously this is the only one that will work. And then yeah, I'll show you that it, um, it works now. So as you can see, when I click this, I go here. I go to my head. And it'll say top it on. Then it'll say top it off. And top it on. Obviously, I don't have the name of the cosmetic right. Obviously, you'll have to put the... Make sure the name is exactly how it's spelled in your player. But yeah, that's how you do it. And it'll put on. And obviously, you can't do anything with this. Because you haven't actually bought it. And yeah. That's how you add a UI wardrobe uh, to your GoTech fan game. You pretty much... Just copying my better wardrobe tutorial, but instead of that, you're just doing it with UI. Uh, I'll leave a package, so it'll be all set up for you. And yeah, if this helped, uh, subscribe, 
I enjoyed the Discord, and, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.